Hi everyone, how are you doing? Kamal here and I welcome you all to the detailed hands-on and impressions video of build 10166, the latest uh, Windows 10 mobile build. In this video, not only we will cover all the listed and unlisted uh, features that build 10166 brings with itself, but we will also uh, share our detailed impressions of the view based on our usage of the build on a few of our devices as daily driver now. And since uh, it has already been a few days, uh, since this build has actually uh, been pushed to devices or Windows Insiders. So we think that it's the right time to actually share our impressions of the build so that uh, if others are like uh, at fence and they want to use this or uh, update to this build, they can do it. So uh, <coughs> we will do one more thing. We will actually cover uh, this build on two of the devices. So here you have Lumia 540, which like represents the uh, device category of 5 inch or uh, less display size. Then we have Lumia 640 XL. But for the devices which have like which are in phablet category or which have a display size of more than five inch so the build has a bit of difference and that you can see uh, very easily so as you can see here uh, on lumia 6 port excel you have uh, four mid-size tiles uh, fitting in one row and this was like this had arrived with uh, build 10149 uh, so just to uh, put it to your attention then coming to ui changes uh, one important thing that now has like uh, been has, has gone missing is the landscape ui uh, that that we have seen on uh, you know with build uh, 10149 and i think build 10136 so that nice uh, landscape ui is missing from lumia 540 with build 10166 so as you can see that uh, landscape ui is gone but if you check it on lumia 640 xl So you can see that uh, you are still able to, you know, you will uh, like the same landscape UI that uh, looks or, uh, you know, uh, resembles very well to the Windows 10 desktop or Windows 10 for tablet is here or Lumia 640 Excel. So maybe uh, slowly, slowly, uh, I mean, Microsoft is trying to, you know, fit this landscape UI only to the devices or only to the, uh, only to the phablets. again so this is one of the ui changes that i wanted to highlight uh, which is like now different on uh, both category of devices okay now coming to some other things so uh, there is one more change which already arrived in earlier builds but i don't think we have covered it so now uh, you don't have that pin thing which uh, you could use to pin this uh, setting to home screen uh, instead of that what you can do actually is to uh, just long press on any of the setting and then you can actually pin it to the start so i think this uh, this had uh, i mean changed in maybe the build 10136 but we could not cover so we are just covering this now coming to one more feature the reachability one so this is still existing this is still available for five inch devices so apart from that uh, most of the things are similar not much difference is there between uh, the phablets and uh, other devices or like the devices with a smaller display so now uh, we will uh, try to cover the whole thing the build so uh, coming to the changes if you talk about the ui changes there are not too many uh, but if you go uh, and uh, if, if, if we talk about the people tile then you can see that uh, people tile of you know with a circular uh, and uh, i mean the circular profiles small circular profile things and the animation is now arrived has now arrived with the build 10166 many have liked it many don't <laughs> but uh, seems that it will be here okay <clears throat> now apart from that if you have a look at the uh, edge tile and store tile both are now transparent so this is one of the uh, changes uh, now coming to the volume slider so the volume slider icons have again changed If you go to the folder explorer or the file explorer you can see that the icon has changed here if we go to settings then there are some changes or some uh, the phone settings have updated a bit it has uh, it has got a new view different kind of look
and apart from this uh, if we go to the settings of like notifications and actions you have a very important and neat thing, neat setting. So now you can actually show alarms, reminder, incoming VoIP calls on the lock screen. So you can actually now control it. You, you can uh, enable or disable. Apart from this, uh, there were like, uh, when we have seen the emulator, emulator had option of, uh, you know, I mean, many uh, different kind of uh, variable frame rates, like one up to 120 FPS for video recording. Unfortunately, we don't see that while uh, if you talk about the uh, camera app on the Lumia 640 XL you can see that rich capture is here but it did not does not work even if you try to capture a picture with this it would not uh, I mean even it like it shows that it has captured it but when you go to gallery you would not find the picture so there is some issue I think and when we go to settings of video recording uh, what you see is all this so like um, there are many frame rates but not anything more than 30 fps so uh, maybe uh, the feature that we have like talked about a lot uh, for I mean, higher FPS is limited to the hardware and maybe uh, the high-end uh, devices would be able to uh, I mean take advantage of that I mean because uh, build 10166 was supposed to bring that but as you can see there is nothing like that you don't have that option okay apart from this uh, if we go to action center so like Again, I, I, I believe this feature was obviously present or this thing was obviously present, but now if you tap here, you can actually collapse and expand. So uh, like many have told me that uh, this is because this collapse may be extended to this area. So whatever, but I, I believe that this is a good thing. So you don't have to go and actually tap here. You can tap here and you can actually collapse and expand the action center. So something which uh, I have really liked Okay, and uh, if you talk about changed icons, then you can see the battery saver. So it has a changed icon. And uh, if we talk about some of the animations, like uh, if you remember, if you have seen our video of build 10149, then there is like slight change in animation. It's not that a uh, lot has changed. But if you talk about that, then we can obviously tell you that like animation look a bit different and bit polished. So you may have like uh, till now you may have seen that uh, whatever we have done is like it goes very smooth the build is really good in that it's very smooth things are very polished they look pretty good so whatever you do you do uh, opening if uh, the apps or going back to home screen or multitasking so all of this looks good it works uh, i mean almost flawlessly if not 100%, we frankly speaking now, if we uh, have to share our impressions of the build because we have run this build for some days, few days on on at least four of our devices. So now I, I can, uh, I mean, tell you that you can actually uh, use this build. I think probably this has to be, I mean, to be frank, this is the uh, perhaps the first build that I can blindly tell that you can run on any of your main devices. The build comes with uh, nearly all the things ticked. So, I mean, your mail works, so there is no issue with the mails. Your accounts, you can actually add accounts that you are using. So there is no issue with that. Other things like uh, if, we, if we go to photos, people app, etc. So most of the things actually, they, they work fine. There is not much to dislike about this. There are not many crashes. There are not uh, many freezes. I mean, the build would not, I, I, if I compare it to the build 10149, so there is like, uh, I mean, lots of difference. And I think Microsoft has fixed the uh, crashes and, uh, you know, uh, freezes or hangs that used to happen in build 10149, which we have reported after, uh, you know, our like use of this build for some days. So, I mean, that way uh, the build is really good. If you want to go ahead and take it on your uh, main device, I don't think you will regret actually. Uh, there are like questions about whether uh, the device gets heated with this build or uh, the, whether the battery lasts well. So in uh, my opinion or with our experience, we can tell you that, yeah, this actually we have uh, played games with the device running Windows 10 uh, build 10166. It does not get heated easily and uh, it, it behaves as uh, good as any of the stable build. So battery life is really good. But if you are worried about the battery life, then uh, you can actually see that uh, this battery saver thing, the battery saver option is again, uh, now, now it is enhanced. 
and if you check the battery saver settings now it provides you an option with uh, you know adding an app or removing an app <coughs> when the uh, battery saver runs so if you want to add an app <coughs> here you can go and add and it gets added to the you know app list which which can send push, push notifications uh, when when uh, the app battery saver is on or you can remove it from here so and you can actually you know just change this uh, battery saver thing so if you set I mean you can set higher or lower whatever it depends on your choice but uh, what I was like trying to tell you is that if you go to the battery use and see which are the apps which uh, the which are eating your data or which are eating your battery so you can go and actually see whether they are allowed or not allowed if they are allowed you can again go and change that so I, I think uh, you will like the store to run in background or if you don't like you can uh, just disable it similarly you can just check and see which app is actually eating your data or eating your uh, battery and you can actually fix it or to be frank battery life is good for me even on lumia 640 xl or uh, on my lumia 540 that uh, i have just uh, trying to like show so both uh, they, it, it has really lasted very very well so i don't have many complaints with the build if we talk about uh, the the battery life and uh, i mean usability so we recommend it there are uh, some more changes that we we heard from the emulator one of us uh, one of that was like wallet so uh, wallet does not come natively with this build you have to go and install it so sorry i mean i think because i have like rubbed in one uh, reset so i don't have wallet available but if you go to a store you can actually uh, install it So wallet uh, now is like it, it's back in the sense that you can actually you know install it from the store and uh, it, it allows you to put your boarding passes and uh, you know uh, various cards loyalty cards etc to itself so uh, this is all uh, nearly all about uh, the build 10166 that we could have liked uh, to share with you because if you see there are not uh, such huge amount of changes that you be used to see with I mean earlier builds because I think Microsoft is now uh, near a stage where they're trying to stabilize and make the builds more and more polished so on uh, level of you know on promise of polish and stability the build 10166 is uh, really come I mean uh, what can I say it's really a commendable effort it's really promising and you can see uh, the changes that we just uh, kind of demo to you these are the changes that make the usability a bit better so what else is left i don't know whether we have like uh, seen the cortana so let me just see okay okay so i i think uh, we have not covered cortana yet but here I don't see uh, many changes as compared to the last build. We have seen the Kotana homes, I mean the UI changing in the last build, but uh, here again, when I go here, I think uh, most of the things remain similar. Not many things have changed. So I think this is a new one connected accounts. Okay, so perhaps this, this uh, feature was not available earlier, but now you can see is if you have a uh, office 365 then perhaps you can go and connect it here so again apart from that what else i don't think there is like much left for our coverage of build 10166 if we have missed out on anything you can let us know and we will try to cover again we have already posted one uh, video of build 10166 before this so you can watch that video also and stay tuned uh, to nokiapowerweather.com for more coverage of uh, windows 10 mobile Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned.